Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at the show known as Planetarian, The Reverie of a Little Planet. Now, I'll say this right now guys and girls. This is coming out on Saturday. I'm reviewing this as a Friday night. Um, the only reason you're seeing this at, at Saturday is because I don't have any ability to do any episodic reviews today. So I apologize in advance for that guys and girls. You know, any series that you see me reviewing on Saturdays unfortunately will not be reviewed today. And I'm not going to do it on Sunday because I think that's, you know, that's a little too hard with all the stuff coming out on Sundays like ReZero and stuff like that. Um, what I will do is of course when next week starts up i will try to get back on schedule and you know talk about the last episode of course with that but for now this is the only review i'm gonna have out today so i do apologize again uh follow me on twitter you know definitely blade ninja zeros or nine to follow up with anything i'll talk about i'll talk about the shows i watched on saturday and when i get the time to and i'll say if i liked them or not whatever but anyways let's talk about planetarian though so planetarian is a very interesting anime this is based off of a visual novel that was done by key which is one of my favorite companies and this was done way back in 2004, um, and what's interesting is that this anime is being done in 2016. So I think that's very, very interesting. And it only ended yesterday, which is kind of cool. Now, I apologize I didn't watch the series all in one shot. I mean, I wish I would have had the review out on the day it came and finished. But I really wasn't digging this anime when I first watched it. I watched the first episode. I really didn't feel it was anything that great. So what I did was I put it to the back burner until the whole show didn't finish. And then I went into watching the whole show. And I found it very interesting because a lot of the episodes don't have the same runtime. A lot of them are running at, for example, some are 20 minutes, 20, some are 14, 13. You know, it was very interesting how they did that but you know it was only five episodes long and it was a very i want to say intriguing anime to say the least for a five episode series now i'm going to say this right off the bat and i'll kind of not spoil anything don't get me wrong but i'm going to say that it didn't get me the way i've been hearing a lot of people have been talking about this anime one thing i've been hearing a lot of people say is how great it was and how you know much of tearjerker it was and stuff like that I did not feel that same emotion from these characters, and I'll talk about that more as the review goes on, but let's talk about the main premise of this. So anyways, we have our setting essentially where the world has gone through a major, major post-apocalyptic shift, where things have gone wrong. Uh, overpopulation, nuclear warfare, uh, lack of resources, robots slash uh, android AIs have been corrupt and have gone against human beings and are now seeing them as threats rather than, you know... Uh, their makers and stuff like that have really created a kind of war-torn environment you know it rains all the time there's no stop to the rain and various other things are happening as the series progresses now we are following the junker that's what his name actually is uh we are we, he has a different name later on i'll tell it's, it's mr customer but in the beginning of the show he's the junker he just runs around and he's actually escaping from several dozen little tiny robots that are attacking him and he goes into a convenience store where he meets a woman named jumemi hoshino who technically is not a woman she's actually an android slash robot who has been designed to take care of this giant building and more so the planetarian which is why the anime is called that and be the commentator for the shows for the planetarian now what's interesting about this anime is it does a lot of things correct with its characters you know it, it leaves you with a kind of vast wonderment and bewilderment towards who who these characters really are you know you she she's like a real human being but she's not she's clearly a robot slash android and the Junker seems like he's just a person that's losing his mind slowly because of just being alone for most of his life and maybe dealing with all the various things around him. But in the same time, he's trying his best to stay, I think, mentally sane. And we see that over the course of these five episodes that it's interesting for both of them the kind of contrast that they have to one another. Now, I will say that voice acting wise, I like the voice acting. I love the soundtrack. I think the soundtrack really hits home for all the scenes that it plays out. It's very nice mood setting scenes. Um, stuff like that i do love the animation the artwork i think the artwork is really interesting because the characters are very mute colors for the most part you have the background which is very mute i mean it's it's you know these war torn areas and and post-apocalyptic settings and if what's interesting about that is it's very gray and very you know bleak looking and then you have yumemi who looks very bright and cheerful in you know for color color palette against this backdrop it's very interesting i mean I, aki does some great work this is definitely one of the top works i mean it looks so nice despite it being what essentially is a muted color which is very interesting i mean i didn't think i would like it that much when i kept seeing this but over the course of the show i really did dig it i think it was a very good setting and i think i did love the color palettes and the animations now my issues with the show come in two folds more so the story and the characters themselves and i'm you know it's a double-edged sword so with characters like this that are given no name and not kind of no background story you know only flashbacks it's very interesting that you can take that either 
a good way or a bad way. You can take it in a very good way in the sense that you can create your own kind of backgrounds for these characters. You can almost be those characters. You know, you can think of what the life of the Junker must be, that he's living alone, he's trying to figure out what his place in the world is, just trying to survive day by day. You know, you can see Yumemi being this robot that's alone and, and just going off protocols and being so useless now because no one around to see her, you know, works in the planetarian. But at the same time, you could also call it lazy writing. Because what it essentially is, is it's just a very simple way of writing characters. You know, you don't have any background story for them. You don't have any really kind of thought-provoking moments with them. And that's my issue with it. Like, I'm not saying that it doesn't have those thought-provoking moments here and there. But I just felt that it could have done a lot better giving them a little bit more backstory and a little bit more, I, I guess, fleshing out it. I mean, I know the movie's coming out for this in sometime near future. But what we get for the five-episode anime is... A lot of just what ifs and kind of possibilities. I mean, we see Yumemi's creators per se, but we never really know them too well, and we don't know where their main goal was in creating her besides just making a an android. I guess that was really human-like. I guess that was the probably main thing. But that brings me to another issue: is that this is a very cliched story. No matter how you want to wrap your hand around that, I mean, you could try to say all day like that. that there are things done about the story that are very thought-provoking and very heartwarming. This is a very cliche story. This has been done in almost every single time of any form of medium. You know, movies, Western movies, Japanese movies, uh, books, light novels. You know, you could I can name a million movies. I, Robot, you know, AI, Robot, um, you know, uh, Plastic Memories. Those are just the name of three off the top of my head. They've all done the works with kind of robots, human beings, you know, what what the sacrifices of being a robot slash, you know, being a human in, in a world that's run by robots. You can all find that. I mean, iRobot is ex- particularly close to this because I remember that movie being something very interesting toward this. And that's my biggest issue with the show is that it doesn't really do anything for me. You know, it wasn't that it's a bad show and it wasn't that it wasn't uh, well done. It's just that it doesn't have any oomph to it, I guess, for me. You know, that's why at the end, you know, I understand what parts they wanted you to cry at. I understand what parts they wanted you to tear up. I didn't get that. And I'm, I'll tell you this right now, guys and girls. I'm, I'm a person, I'm a sucker for crying and stuff. You know, I cry during a lot of movies and a lot of anime. And I've, I, I typically get very, you know, emotional when it comes to watching stuff that really gets to me. I mean, like Plastic Memories, for example. I cried nonstop with that. And I'm a guy. I'm, I'm not afraid to say something like that. But with this, I didn't even shed a tear. I didn't even really feel... I guess that emotional crippled by it. I, more so, I felt like, eh, that sucks. But, you know, I, I understand what they're going at, but it's not really that strong, I guess. That's one of my biggest issues with this. Maybe it's because of the episode length, or maybe it's because of how the characters were written, or maybe it's the cliche t- uh, terms in general that were presented to us. But I didn't think the show, honestly. I, I didn't think it was that great. That's why, you know, if I had to review it 8 through F, I'm going to be a little harsh with this. I'm going to give it a C. Plus. You know, honestly, this show could have been a lot better. I think it, it, as a movie, it could be interesting. I'm very curious how the move, they make the movie. But if you think about it, this was almost the, the length of a movie, essentially. And it didn't do very much. You know, it, it set up these characters to a point that it really didn't even set them up for anything. You know, we have characters that are going to continue on. And we have characters that aren't from the story. But, I, you know, I'm not going to say that they were that great. Honestly, just that's how I feel. And, I mean, I'll definitely take i want to hear some comments below did you cry during this did you feel the same way as me and listen all things are you know i never have an issue with you know hearing some criticism toward me not liking something and everyone else liking it it's not a big deal i just didn't like the show be honest with you um that's what i didn't i'm not giving it a bad score because the sheer fact that i didn't like it i'm giving it a score based off of what i think it does right and what it does wrong so i'm trying to be as unbiased as i can and that's why it's a c plus because i know no matter what even if i said i did like the show it has a lot of issues and big flaws with it to be honest with you but anyways guys and girls that's the end of my review like i said i'm not gonna have any episode reviews today i'm really sorry for that um that's just because i'm very busy uh saturday i know that in advance already so It unfortunately happens. But anyways, I hope this one review will do it for you guys. I will talk to you all later as usual. Until our paths cross again in the next review, have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.